China's history of monumental construction stretches back over 2,000 years, with projects like the Great Wall and the Grand Canal standing as symbols of human tenacity and vision. These early feats, achieved through vast mobilization of manpower and rudimentary tools, shaped trade, territory, and culture across centuries. Today, China's drive to build remains undiminished, yet it has evolved into a highly mechanized, technology-intensive endeavor, from coastal reclamation to high-speed railways spanning thousands of kilometers. The country's approach to infrastructure development has undergone a sweeping transformation. This modern momentum is powered by an arsenal of unprecedented mega-machines, each capable of completing projects at speeds and scales that were once unimaginable. In the late 20th century, a series of economic reforms paved the way for rapid industrial growth and an urgent demand for new infrastructure. Between 1980 and 2000, China's urban population nearly doubled, placing immense pressure on traditional building methods. In response, state-owned enterprises and private firms began investing in advanced construction equipment. By the mid-2000s, the country emerged as a leader in large-scale engineering projects, exemplified by landmarks such as the Three Gorges Dam, an undertaking that required sophisticated cranes, tunneling devices, and specialized vessels. These earlier achievements served as a catalyst, prompting further innovations in machinery that would eventually redefine global standards for construction speed and capacity. The Magic Island Maker, Tian Ku and Hao. A key milestone in coastal engineering emerged in 2017, when China unveiled the massive dredging vessel Tian Ku and Hao. Measuring 140 meters in length and nearly 28 meters in width, it stands among the most powerful dredgers in Asia, with the capacity to excavate and pump up to 6,000 cubic meters of seabed materials per hour. It can fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool in just 20 minutes. This continuous process of suction and deposition has been instrumental in reclaiming land for industrial zones and port expansions, as well as in island-building initiatives. While the technique raises concerns about coastal ecosystems, the vessel's efficiency has accelerated projects that once required years of painstaking labor. The SLJ-932 Iron Monster, revolutionizing bridge construction. Moving from seascapes to spans of concrete and steel, the SLJ-900-32 has become emblematic of China's rapid bridge-building capability. Launched in the 2010s, this 91-meter-long machine, often referred to as the Iron Monster, moves on 64 wheels subdivided into four sections, each capable of rotating 90 degrees. By aligning itself with pre-existing bridge columns, it lifts and places prefabricated segments with remarkable precision. This approach reduces the need for extensive scaffolding, lowers labor costs, and improves safety conditions. Early estimates suggest the SLJ-932 can place a new span every 24 minutes, potentially completing over 700 bridge segments throughout its service life. As part of the Belt and Road Initiative, these machines facilitate the construction of expansive overpasses that link remote regions, transforming local economies in the process. The 1,000-ton Level Girder Erection Machine For cross-sea high-speed railway projects, China has deployed a 1,000-ton level girder erection machine designed to operate in harsh coastal and oceanic conditions. Often measuring over 160 meters in length, this specialized equipment integrates more than 15,000 individual components. Its standout feature lies in its endurance, as it can withstand high-velocity winds and corrosive saltwater environments. This capability enables construction to progress with minimal downtime, even during challenging weather. By speeding up segment placement and eliminating certain manual steps, the machine exemplifies how China's construction sector merges size with cutting-edge technology. Many infrastructure planners point to these innovations as contributors to the consistent expansion of the country's high-speed rail network, already the largest of its kind in the world. Fast-tracking railway development the CYP 500. High-speed rail forms a critical component of China's blueprint for economic growth, linking distant cities and fostering trade. At the heart of this vision are machines like the CYP 500, 
a rapid track laying system capable of laying two kilometers of railway track in a single day. Older methods might achieve a few hundred meters in the same time frame, making this device a major breakthrough for on-site efficiency. Each unit is equipped with synchronized cranes that hoist rails and concrete sleepers, positioning them with precision before sealing them into place. These systematic steps reduce manual labor, enhance safety, and keep projects on schedule. By enabling quick completion of tracks through mountainous and urban regions alike, the CYP500 has allowed China's railway network to reach over 40,000 kilometers of high-speed lines as of the early 2020s. Going Underground CRCHI Tunneling Machines China's focus on connectivity also extends below the surface. Tunneling machines produced by the China Railway Construction Heavy Industry Corporation CRCHI, often reach diameters of up to 15 meters, making them among the largest tunnel borers worldwide. They combine impressive torque, sometimes exceeding 40,000 newton meters, with advanced laser guidance. This setup enables simultaneous excavation and lining of tunnel walls, minimizing potential collapse and erosion. In urban centers such as Beijing, Shanghai, and Guangzhou, these machines have delivered new subway lines ahead of tight deadlines, alleviating congestion for millions of commuters. In mountainous provinces, similarly configured tunnel borers drill through challenging rock formations to pave the way for expressways and high-speed rails. These feats underscore the integral role of mechanized tunneling in China's broader infrastructure strategy. Heavy Lifting XCMG 4,000-Ton Crawler Crane for projects requiring massive lifts, like placing large prefabricated components in power plants or erecting wind turbines, China has turned to crawler cranes with previously unthinkable capacities. The XCMG 4,000-ton crawler crane exemplifies this, capable of lifting loads equivalent to 4,000 average sedans at once. Standing at over 100 meters in height when configured for maximum lift, it leverages a robust lattice boom and complex counterweight system. Its ability to place massive sections with millimeter precision has redefined how engineers approach plant construction and industrial assembly. By making it feasible to pre-build large modules off-site, the crane reduces assembly times and improves quality control, benefiting projects that emphasize safety, like nuclear facilities. Zoom Lions EC32000, another giant in the crane world. Another record-setting crawler crane is the Zoom Lions EZC 32000. With a 3,200 ton lifting capacity and a maximum height of around 178 meters, it competes on a global scale for heavy lifting applications. Equipped with modular design features, this crane can be swiftly assembled on site, which is an important advantage for large scale energy developments, such as wind farm installations and petrochemical expansions. Operators can maneuver multi-ton components with millimeter-level accuracy, a critical factor for delicate equipment like reactor vessels. This precision also reduces the risk of workplace accidents. Since its debut, the ZCC32000 has become a mainstay for large contractors, illustrating the growing demand for high-capacity lifts in China's evolving industrial landscape. In pushing the limits of engineering, China's construction boom offers a glimpse into a future in which large-scale building may be measured not only by speed, but by the broader impacts it leaves on communities and the planet.